All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a handgun that I knew I wanted as soon as I saw it released from Palmetto State Armory, their brand new micro dagger. As soon as I saw the in-stock notification and could add it to the cart fast enough before everybody else, I purchased one, it showed up, and I immediately took it to the range. This is the first shots and overview of this handgun and its current configuration, and we will be doing updates on this in the future because I'm a huge fan of this gun, what it's trying to do, as well as the price point. In a nutshell, this is competing with the Glock 43X as well as very slim Micro 9s, and this is PSA's first attempt at a pistol in this category. PSA is known for their traditional full-size dagger that you see here, and already from the two, you can see the massive difference in the size as well as the overall thickness, which is a key component in concealed carry. Right off the bat though, this also has the optics cut already included in almost every single slide combination, so you're already a step above a lot of the other Micro 9s in the market. Did I mention that most of the models are sub $400? That is a great deal. Just like everything else at PSA, you can mix and match and buy the frames independently of the slides. They also have extended slide versions and slide versions with comps built in, which I will hopefully be getting in the future for test and evaluation. But a new, as soon as I saw this released, I had to purchase one. Now this complete from PSA was just a touch over 350 and it had free shipping, so that was a great deal. If you're interested in deals like this, you can check out the campsite page in the description below where all of my favorites are listed as well as follow me on my instagram page as well as my patreon page because those guys got a notification as soon as i grabbed this one i posted over there to let you guys know it was there so it's a good opportunity to follow me on those platforms the other cool thing about this is it came with one mag which is their 15 round flush fit magazine which is pretty darn awesome considering the size of this handgun again uh the glock 19 gen 3 standard or the psa compact standard that we just looked at come stock with a 15 round magazine and this is much smaller so you can understand the capacity to size and weight ratio is absolutely amazing making it perfect for concealed carry it also comes in this really nice case which is pretty cool some of the original daggers only came with brown boxes i'm not complaining but it's a nice touch to add but let's move this to the side and dig into some comparisons for this and other guns as well as its performance and just full overview before we do, though, I want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the channel and always supporting us. These guys help us out all the time, and I've got the code 704TACTICAL for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200, and they just did a restock. So this is some of the most affordable 9 mil, and it runs great down at the range, and that's one of the first things I want to talk about because there's no point in watching this overview if the gun isn't reliable. And it is. It was 100% functional from the first shot to the last in the couple of range trips that I took it on with no issues whatsoever. Now, I can't talk about long-term reliability because we just got the handgun and I want to get this video out quick, but it was initially 100% reliable with no issues whatsoever. We put a lot of rounds through it. I'll give you a full round total once we hit about the thousand rounds and we'll do another overview then and hopefully we'll have some other slides at that point. Now, the grip itself is spectacular. Again, and comparing it with the Glock 43X. But when mentioning the Glock 43X, that actually comes standard in the same size with a 10 round magazine. So you get five extra rounds over that. And this one feels much better in your hand. It's got a very smooth finish that doesn't have any sharp edges, but a very fine texturing built into the grip that helps you get a great purchase. The beaver tail kind of extends past the slide, allows you to get a good high grip on the handgun, is probably one of the most comfortable micro nines that I felt in a while. It also has an undercut trigger guard, allowing you again to get a good high grip. All of the edges on the trigger guard itself are smooth and rounded, so there's no high spots there when you're shooting. Now moving up to the top, it does have some pads where you can rest your thumbs on, but unfortunately when you rest your thumbs on that pad, the sharp edges of the takedown lever dig into your hand. This is probably one of my biggest complaints with this gun, is that this sharp edge will dig into your thumb if you utilize the pad as a reference point. But what I do is just kind of rest my thumb a little bit above or slightly off, and it's not that big of a deal, and really not a larger complaint in general. Just if you try to use the pad as a reference point, this will dig into your hand. 
Maybe I can um, grab an aftermarket one, maybe kind of, uh, you know, smooth out some of the edges. But overall, no complaints about the ergonomics of this handgun. In fact, only praises. This thing, again, is one of the most comfortable, let me stress, comfortable Micro 9 grips I've felt in a while. It also is set up to run some of those subcompact micro lights. Now, the Mini Valkyrie and things like that won't fit, the TLR7, but you will grab that TLR7 sub and a few of the subcompact lights that are really hitting the market and taking them by storm right now. That's going to fit on here just great. I need to grab one of those. Also, I tried a bunch of different 43X holsters with no issues whatsoever. Remember to grab the 43X MOS if you want to run an optic on here. I did get a few of those, and those fit as well. More about these holsters, but some of them will be linked in the description below to my favorite Amazon places. Now, those are Amazon affiliate links, so if you decide to utilize them, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. just brings you right to my favorite holsters. Let's move on to the slide. Again, this one comes with the RMSC footprint, that micro dot footprint. I've reviewed a lot of those on the channel, and this is going to be a test platform, not only because I've got a free spot for different optics, but because I want to get a lot of rounds to it. And I feel like there's a lot of high value optics that will pair nicely with the micro dagger, making it a perfect addition to the channel to test optics, get rounds to it, and really see how it performs. They come standard, at least this particular version anyway, with three dot sights, they work great, no issues, no complaints. The slide serrations on this guy are great. Uh, to rack the slide is a little stiff. Again, we are trying to compensate for being such a small slide. So the springs in here are a little bit stiff compared to something like the Smith & Wesson EZ, which is purposely designed to be a little bit easier to rack. So maybe somebody who has arthritis or has trouble racking a standard Glock 19 will also have trouble racking a slide on this. Just something to consider. Forgot to mention the trigger when we were talking about the lower as well as the controls, so we'll shift back down to there for a second before we talk about the shootability and performance of this down at the range. The mag release on this guy is spectacular. It's very large, easy to use, it's not very sticky, and it stays out of the way. You're not going to accidentally bump it while firing the handgun. The trigger itself has a very smooth take-up, hits a fairly defined wall, and then a very nice break. So when we are comparing that with a Glock, it's definitely better than a Glock. Now let's compare it with a traditional dagger. So watch this. It hits a wall, gets some sponginess, then the break. When it comes to the micro dagger, you don't have that sponginess. You just have a crisp break, making it a bigger, better trigger than most of the Glocks I've used, as well as the traditional daggers. So overall, I'm in love with that trigger and again the ergonomics of the grip now it was 100 percent functional then at the range but how did it shoot well this thing was a tack driver for a micro nine it hit everything i was aiming at no problems whatsoever it points naturally and it transitions from target to target well obviously there's a little bit more recoil impulse than a standard psa dagger or a glock 19 because it is smaller but there is less recoil impulse than a 42x in my opinion uh, you may vary a little bit depending on how you hold your firearm, but to me, my opinion is this one has a little bit less of a felt recoil impulse. Now, I do want to start comparing this with other handguns before we run out of time in today's video, but one of my favorites to carry here recently has been the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Plus. This thing is pretty cool because right off the bat, you get... Um, 10 rounds in a small mag you can get 13 in there if you do the slightly extended one and when you see the size comparisons on this they are practically the same size so again um guys that is pretty cool right there so then the next one i want to discuss is another one of my favorites the p365xl now, I personally uh, don't carry the 365 because of the striker issues in the beginning. I, I just like the extra uh, mass damper system, the extra moment of inertia to prevent the striker dragging on the XL versions. But again, here's a 15-round mag, and here it is in comparison. So we are looking at here practically the same size. Um, so that would be a better comparison. Optics ready, good trigger, 
ergonomic, nice beaver tail. This one doesn't have any really high points right here that's gonna catch your thumb so you can ride it real tough. But overall, these are going to be very identical in their overall um, size, feel, capacity, the ability to add an optic right out of the box. The only difference is you're looking at over 500 and you're looking at closer to 350. If you start piecemealing this together by grabbing the frame and slides when they're available, you're probably looking at under 350 very easily. So you're going to be getting at least 150 to $200 more for the 365XL. Not quite sure if it's worth it, to be honest with you. I love the XL, don't get me wrong, but the dagger is coming out swinging. Now the MMP Shield Plus is about the same price as this guy right here, maybe a touch more. And the last one I want to mention is actually a little bit cheaper. The Taurus GX4 or the Taurus GX4 XL Toro editions, which are cut for the same optics cut as that. Now, these ones are pretty cool. Right out of the box, they have about 11 in a flush-fitting magazine, and you can get extended magazines, longer slides, and the optics cut versions. But these are right at about 300 uh, depending on where you get them. Now, sometimes they're more, sometimes they're less, but they seem to le be a little bit more cost-effective than the, um, the micro daggers. Uh, they feel like they're just maybe a touch thicker. They're definitely shorter and the grips are definitely smaller for the smaller versions, but the XL version is gonna be a little bit longer. So I wanted to compare them and contrast them across the board. Now, these are actually the four I highly recommend right now, as well as the new shadow systems. I just purchased one of them from a buddy of mine at work. I took it to the range at the same time as the Micro Dagger, and I'm gonna be reviewing that as well, but I wanted to get the Micro Dagger out first. I will be discussing that in the future, but that is definitely going to be a lot more, even sometimes a lot more than the 365XL. So I wanted to do an independent video on that and talk about its pros and cons as well. And maybe we'll do kind of a uh, an overview of every single Micro 9 that I currently own. But I thought this was a good cross-section of pricing between a little bit more, about the same, a little bit less. The Micro Dagger is an absolute monster when it comes to the overall performance, reliability, handling, the ability to add optics, and the price. And I think the difference between this and all of these guys is going to be the ability to grab aftermarket stuff from PSA. They are an industry giant and they already have a ton of different slides available and they're going to be really uh, ramping up production on a lot of these components. And I think that's where this is gonna take off. The ability to put on this carry upper right here or carry slide being small and compact, easy to conceal carry with no holes for dirt to ingress. Take it off, put the comp one on for everyday shooting with a slightly longer slide and an optic. I mean, this may be a perfect jack of all trades handgun for everything you need to do. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope it gives you a ton of information about the brand new PSA Micro Dagger. When I get more, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.